Hello, my name is Stephen Linder and welcome to Access Form Calendar Basics. It's an Access 2013-2016 uh, product and uh, look forward to helping you get through this. Over the years I found it uh, necessary to have a larger pop-up calendar on the screen to view. And it's very frustrating because all that Access had was that little calendar that came under the calendar control. And so I created one for myself and others and I use it in many of my databases. Um, that I've created and of course for myself and many others and they love it too. So here goes. Here's the concept in a nutshell. So what does it actually do? Well basically there's two uses for it. You can use it as is simply copying and pasting the product click the product the calendar control right in your database. That's one use of it. You don't have to modify it. You don't have to do anything to it. Just simply copy and paste it and put it right in there. We're going to show you how to do that. And the second thing you can do is you can actually go in and modify the controls within that those that calendar to be able to do things with it using Visual Basic for Access, VBA. And so we're going to give you a little bit of background on that. So the first thing I want to do is show you how to copy and paste the, the information into another uh, Access database. So what I'm going to do is the very first thing I'm going to do is let you know that there's no limit to the number of times you can copy and paste it into your forms. The code is not protected and it's available to modify it and there's no other modifications that are required just to use it as is, which makes it really, really, really handy. Um, of course, um, the other things that are available to use, of course, is uh, being able to modify it. When you modify it, you can do things with it, which are really, really handy. But one of the very first things you want to do, of course, is to be able to, to see how easy it is to see the controls that's below it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag this down so you can see what's happening below the scenes. And there it is. So when you change the months, as you can see, the data down below changes, which makes it really, really handy if you wanted to actually see what was going on within the database. All right. And that's pretty cool to be able to see that. But what you're going to want to do, you know, if just to use it like it is, is you're going to want to have to go into the control that shows how to change the border style. You want to go into the properties, border style, and change sizable to the word none. Just simply change sizable to the word none. And that will keep this from happening. You won't have any control to be able to drag down and look at that which makes it pretty handy, you know, if that's all you need it to do. So that's the first part I want to show you. Very, very important that you understand that concept. So the very first thing I want to do, of course, is show you how to copy and paste it. So here we go. I'm going to close this out, and I'm going to show you what comes with the calendar control. Number one, the only two things you actually need is the calendar control itself. That's the control that you see when you press a button or whatever. Okay? That's the calendar itself. The second thing you're going to need is the module. The module gives you the two small public functions that are required to make it work. Very simple. How you do that is I've created a simple database. There's nothing in it whatsoever. And I'm going to simply copy the calendar form, copy, and paste it into my new database and leave, of course, the calendar form on there so it knows it's working properly. The second thing is, of course, the module. Copy it and paste it into your new database. There it is. You now have the two main forms. If I open the calendar form, it works. Now, the reason you see all this down here is because I was using the main form to control that. So now I'm going to copy the main form over. You don't have to have it. It's just that what I use to do that. So I'm going to copy the main form and paste that in there. And there it is. So that when I close this database out, or the window out, I apologize, when I close that module out, the calendar form is now available, and there it is. Isn't that cool? Very, very handy item. All right, so now let's go back to my original database, and I'll show you the idea. I'm going to close this out up here. So here's the calendar form itself. And there are different ways to use this calendar form. One of the most easiest ways, of course, is many times when you create a calendar form, you simply want to be able to see the calendar itself. And you don't really care about doing anything with it. I just want to see the calendar. What day is it? It's February the 7th, 2019. Of course, I can change it to months. Go back to the original month. There it is. I'm there. 
But many times you may want to change things. You may say, oh, you know what? I wish I could wish I could have a box maybe to be able to put a date in there. So what you do is you create the box. There it is. When you click on it and you select a date and say, okay, close it, it'll put that date right in there. That's really all there is to it. It's already built into the database where you can do that. The 15th, close it. There it is. Now, there may be another chance you may want to do something else. You notice it says double click on a Sunday with a date in it of the first month and see a second form open. Many times you think, boy, wouldn't it be nice if I could have maybe a to do list? So, Sunday, I've got a to do list. I click on Sunday. There it is, 2 3 2019. Do things here. You could have it open up other forms, 210. Do things here. That's all there is to it. What's really unique about this whole thing, of course, is the actual concept is all the data is available to you to be able to modify. As you can see, the commands are there. You can move the and resize the calendar any size you want. It's right there in front of you. And of course, all the other code is available for you to look at. It's right there. So what I'd like to do is show you one more thing just to really give you the concept of how we created this thing. Inside the form, inside the form, I have created what we call an info form that gives you the information that you need to get this in your possession. I've made it so inexpensive that for $5, you can't, you can't take the time it takes to recode all of it. Trust me. So please send an email to calendarforms at dreamstoreality.com. Include an email for sending the code to you to, that, that you're going to want me to send the code to. That file that we're going to send to you is an access database file. It's just an access file. That's all you get. There's no other files that are going to be attached. There's no spam in it. It's going to, the email is going to be uh, sent using Kaspersky scanned for viruses. Simply send a, uh, the $5 payment through PayPal. That's what I prefer. And I'll send that once I get that request through your email. And once it's been paid, I'll send you that email back with the file attached to it. It's a really small file. It's less than 400 kilobytes. And I usually send it to you in a very, very short period of time. And when I receive the payment through PayPal, usually it's within an hour or so, but no more than one business day. So I really look forward to doing business with you. God bless you. You take good care of yourself and, and have a great night. Bye-bye.